Okay, we have a long way to go yet on this website. So let's log into the dashboard. The first thing we should do would be the all in one SEO pack. We go to the admin page. And if you remember, we already installed the recommended plugins, but let's do this. First, we click Enabled. Home title, WordPress training, home description. Let me go grab that. This is what I decided to go with for the description, so let's copy this. Paste it right here. Now your home keywords. right here and I use probably too many but I want to make sure make sure always one thing I did forget to do is put your name right here all right either second or third should be your name all right now we copy this go back here Next, we scroll down. We leave this unchecked, and we leave this unchecked, and we check the rest. Now we scroll down again. We click on Log Important Events, and we update options. Now let's go back to Dashboard. Now let's open this up. Let's see what it looks like. We have a lawnmower running outside. Please pardon that if it gets loud. Okay. All right, that's traffic getting plugins. Yes, we did. Just to double check, make sure everything is green here. Yes, we did that. So the only other thing left to do is the advanced. And I'll show you what that's going to do. Our dashboard should not look like this. This is not how our dashboard looks. This is all an ad, and we don't want this ad here. So, this is traffic getting. Click on advanced, and this is only if it bothers you. All right, scroll down, we toggle this widget to off, and we click submit. Now, when we go back to the dashboard, this is what it looks like this is how I am used to it okay let's go through our settings now one step at a time and this will help us set up our plugins to let's go to general this is actually setting up our WordPress theme at the same time make sure that this is unchecked because if that is checked like some people have it then people can register for your website and they can get inside of it and hack it okay now time zone you click here and you find the city nearest to you and in North America I'm used to this so North America is up here I'm close to Toronto date format click here time format click here scroll down week starts on Monday save changes now go to writing this you leave just how it is reading let's go blog pages so at most three just in case you use videos and you should all right because if you have up to five or ten videos on there um, let's just say that it takes a while for the page to load in and you don't want that to happen now this is topic of debate right here for now I'm going to have front page displays my latest posts for a personal website I would do this but I'm not in this situation so I'm going to leave this just how you see it and save changes now let's go to discussion can actually be left the way it is media can be left the way it is let's go to privacy I'll explain a little bit about that when you first start a website you might not want 
the search engines to index it. So you would click here and save changes. But I'm building mine fairly quick, so I'm leaving it set there. Now let's go to permalinks. This is an important one. Permalinks are just like this. I have the slash, percentage, year, percentage, slash, percentage, post name, slash, just like you see it right there. And I cannot stress how important this is that you have this just like this, or some people have it like this. It doesn't matter. But that is how your custom structure should be. Save changes. Okay, we did all in one SEO in earlier ones. Let's go to CBNet Ping Optimizer. All right. All we need to do is click here and ping at most one time in 45 minutes because if you ping too often and you're active on your blog then you could upset the search engine spiders and they will punish you for that. Let's put it that way. Save settings. Okay, you don't need to worry about this or this for now. Google Privacy Policy Tiny MCE Advance, we handled that one earlier. XML sitemap, we need to click on this just to make sure that it is started. And it says the sitemap was built. Some themes do this automatically and some don't. So mine is good for now with this WordPress theme that we're working on. Now we need to add a couple of pages. So we go to Pages, Add New. We need to add two pages. We need to add privacy policy. We need to order it as number two and publish this page. Now we need to go to add new again. We need to add a contact form. Contact me. Contact us. Whatever you want. Set this as number three. And publish it. Now let's take this back to dashboard. Refresh this and see how it looks. Sample page we can actually get rid of. How do we do that? We go back to pages. All pages, sample page, click here, trash it. Refresh this. And this is good for now. We will change things as we go because what we are actually doing in this video tutorial series is building this website, right? So now we can set up a couple more plugins. We need to go back to settings, Google Privacy Policy. What we need to do right here is highlight from here to here, arrow to arrow, outside to outside, right click, copy. We go back to our pages, all pages, on our privacy policy we click edit. We go to HTML, and I'll show you what the privacy policy page looks like right now. It would look like nothing, just like this. Now what we copied, let's paste it right here. Now let's update it. If we go back here and click on privacy policy again, there we just built our privacy policy for our website. Next, we do the same thing for contact form. So we go to contact, click on it, and we need to edit it, and we need to make sure that we have a good email address down here. Mine is office at PDIMI, that's good. So this is good. We need to go back to the contact, 
we need to pick this up right here right click it copy go back to our pages all pages now click on this contact me and again make sure you are in HTML right click paste update now let's take this back to dashboard now when someone goes to your contact page they can actually contact you from here and it's a good idea for you to try it yourself test it and make sure that it does in fact come through to your email address now back to our settings what's very important that we set up is our BPS security bulletproof security this is extremely important and the order in which we do this is important so follow along step by step we are in the first tab what we are going to do is make sure all of this red stuff is green so we're going to work with this tab this tab and this tab right here so we start from here we have two tabs right here scroll down we have one two three four to activate here but it must be done in a particular order step one create default HT access file step two create secure HT access file step three click on the top bulletproof mode activate it step four the one underneath it right here activate it next step the one underneath it click on the bulletproof mode activate it now we change we go to backup and restore okay from here this has three tabs on it backup restore and backup again don't worry about this middle one we click the first one we back up files this is the third one right here click here so the first one and the third one back up now we go we scroll back up and we go back to security modes scroll all the way down to the bottom and this is the one that I showed you at first bulletproof mode it activate it and now when we click on security status everything should be green and good to go there we are okay that is long enough for this video when we come back there will be more settings to do but I'm going to get rid of all of this stuff on the sidebar and some of it will apply to this theme only and some of it will apply to all themes alright I may even add an autoresponder in here when we come back but we do need to do some more settings and this video is long enough for now